Hello, beauties. Hello, hello. I hope you're doing fabulous. To anyone who celebrates Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. I was playing in my singles collection the other day and I separated 16 shiny, shifty, sparkly, special singles that I have that I thought are ideal for Christmas time. And of course, I thought this would be a great video for today. We are gonna swatch these and I'm gonna talk about them. If that sounds good to you, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. row. Our first color is this beautiful shade from Davina. This is Sour Spanx. I think this is from their Carnival Sweets collection. In the pan you see sort of a corally pinky base and then it definitely has a very prominent gold to green shift over that. Obviously, green to gold is always sort of a go-to color for Christmas, which is why I use this color. I just realized my hand is stained. I have no idea what's going on, but I have some yellow stain on my hand. Oh, well, I do artwork and other things, so it could be because of that. Please ignore it. Similar to what I saw in the pan, there is a pinkish base and a gold to green glaze over it. And it's pretty flaky. I think you can see the flakes. This color almost looks like an iridescent multichrome because the pink base is not opaque. So I feel like if I use this over a different base, as in like a darker base, I might get a completely different effect. Our second color in this row is from Glaminatrix. This is Peacock. This is one of those beautiful duochromes. And beauties, let me quickly mention that not all of these colors are going to be multichromes or even duochromes. Some of them are flakies. We're going to have all kinds of different colors. We might even have like metallics and monochromes. But these are, to me, very special shades, all of them, and very Christmassy. So as you can see, this one is a duochrome with a burgundy base and a beautiful tealy green glaze over it. This is such a beautiful color and from certain angles you only see the burgundy base whereas from some other angles the teal glaze starts appearing. I could also argue from some angles I do see a little a little bit of gold. I think this would be an ideal color to wear to like an evening party. You can deepen out your outer V with a dark burgundy, even green, or a completely different type of color, and use this color on the inner part of your lid. Continuing, our next shade is this beautiful shade. This is Mural, one of their beautiful electric multichromes. I already have a swatch video for all of my electric multichromes, and I have the whole collection. I even have the extensions they came out with in the advent calendar that they released and I have swatches of all of them in this channel. Both of those videos are linked below if you're curious about seeing the swatches. And this color in the pan has a minty sort of tealy green base with a gold shift from some angles that goes all the way to a magenta shift. And that is almost what you're going to get on your hand as well, or your eyes, wherever you're going to put this color. So mint green to sort of bronzy to gold green. And then if I do this, I see more magenta. This is one of those super special shades. Our next shade is Gold Rush from Luxie Beauty. This is one of those special shades that they released this year. So this one has a kind of reddish burgundy-ish undertone or base with a gold to green, very prominent gold to green glaze on top. And it's extremely creamy beauties. This is one of those super creamy colors. 
This is also one of those colors that I would love to wear with either a dark burgundy brown in my outer V or even green in my outer V for a very Christmassy sort of look. From certain angles, you also see a little bit of bronze shade in the shifts. So the gold going to kind of green going to bronze and that's so beautiful. Our next color is from Terramans, and this color kind of reminds me of a starry night or even glittery outfits around this time of the year, which is part of the reason why it had to be in this palette. It's such a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's called Dark Side. This color looks like it's a pressed form of super, super, super tiny shiny shimmery particles i don't want to use the term glitter because glitter always has a negative connotation this is totally eye safe beauty is just fyi and it doesn't feel crunchy or any of that and honestly i think this is one of those colors that can totally be a one and done look this time of the year for kind of a smoky look or you can even smoke out your crease area and then put this across your lid for a very beautiful kind of smoky look it's such a beautiful shade and although this is not obvious in the pan in the swatch i even see from some angles a little bit of pink or purple very mildly but i can see it so our next one is actually a flaky from copacetic called oxidation and beauties this one might need a tacky base so i'm gonna put some base booster from bh some of these flakies really need a tacky base otherwise they're not even gonna stay but then if you apply them over a tacky base they look amazing but you can smooth it out over the tacky base and now it literally looks like i have a layer of metal on my skin which is so beautiful in the shade i see sort of a pewter color but under the light i see a gold shift and from some angles a hint of pink or purple this shade is also great for doing sort of a smokyish type of look where you really smoke out your crease and your outer V with a dark color and then you put this color all across your lid of course over a tacky base okay friends our next color is also from Luxy this was also one of their more recent releases and I really like this one as well and I think this kind of color is ideal for Christmas obviously being a super gold this is called stacks look at that this is kind of a metallic shade kind of a monochrome shade and i think gold like this is very christmassy and this is one of those super yellowish golds and i love that i think this kind of color can be worn over a look similar to the look that i did in my yesterday's video the look that i did with the naughty palette from bh cosmetics for either a neutral look similar to the one that i did in that video or this can even be used with the dark green matte in the outer v area for a more colorful eye look or even you know if you want to rock a single shade across your lid this is a great color Okay, beauties, our next color is also from Luxie. I did not see this color on their website anymore, but they bring these colors back a lot of times, so it's not available at the moment. But we are kind of picking different variations of greens to reds to golds to kind of shimmery that are relevant for Christmas. And I felt like not putting a red color or a reddish kind of a color that is a very Christmassy color would not do my singles palette justice, which is why I picked this color. And I love this because this is a true Christmassy red to me. And I don't think I have any other true Christmassy red similar to this color. So it had to be in this palette. So this shade is not metallic. I would say it's either a satin or just a shimmer and it's a beautiful beautiful monochrome this shade would also totally be a one and done type of a shade 
Another thing that I thought also is some of you might already have this color and if you have it, you can whip it out and use it. Now we're gonna get into a couple of multichromes. The first multichrome I wanna talk about is this one from Shine by SD. This is from the Jewel Dreams collection called Furious. And if you look at this and tell me this is not a Christmas color, I don't know what is. Also because I have a swatch of all of my Shine by SDs, which includes the whole Jewel Dreams collection. Link is in the description box below if you're curious. When I think about Christmas green, this color is literally what I'm thinking about. So a shimmery, leafy green color. And this one actually has a shift of teal and also has a shift of gold. And you can even see a little bit of maybe blue to purple shift from some angles in the shade. The swatch that I've done in dimmer light shows this much better. Our next shifty multichrome is Cleona's Kiln. Of course, we couldn't do Christmas without this color. I came to realize I don't have very good reds. I also don't think I have very good true reds in my singles and definitely not in my multichromes. So if you know of a multichrome red that has a true red shift, please write it to me in the comments below and kiln is a beautiful beautiful color that has a green shift going all the way to yellow all the way to orange and bronze and then from some angles you're gonna see a very very prominent magenta shift some of these shifts are more obvious under dim light okay friends our next color is this beautiful color also from Glaminatrix, this is Parrot. This is one of their Glimmer shades. And these shades, in terms of texture, they look very similar to Dark Side, this one. So it essentially looks as if it's comprised of super, super, super tiny sparkly particles. I don't know if I can call this shade a duochrome, but I do see a minty green like a deeper minty green base and then the sh glaze over it is just normally silver but it does turn gold from some angles of course no christmas palette would be complete without something super super shimmery silvery this is Sazium from terra moons which is an ultra metallic the texture of this one also feels very similar to Dark Side again. This color in that it does look like it is comprised of tiny, tiny shimmery particles and it looks super, super metallic on my hand. This is also a beautiful one and done shade for the eye or if you want to use it for a kind of a smokier look or use black gray in the outer V and use this on the inner half of your lid. Super pretty and shimmery for this time of the year. Okay friends, we're all the way to the last row and we're gonna start this row with another super, super shifty shade. Also from Shine by SD, this is Inferno, also from the Jeweled Dreams collection. And I would say this is Shine by SD's version of Kiln. The only difference that I would find between Shine by SD's quality for this particular series and Cleona's quality is that Shine by SD is way more metallic looking. I think you can see that in the shifts. So I definitely see the green shift, even a little bit of blue going into gold, going into orangey coppery and then when i move my hand around i definitely see copper going to magenta and it looks super super metallic let me quickly swatch kiln next to this just so i can show you the difference 
because they're pretty different, although they have more or less the same kinds of shifts. You see, Cleona is not shimmery and metallic like Shine by ST is. Separate from the fact that they don't even show the same shifts from the same angles. So this is what I'm talking about, beauties, when I keep saying in this channel that Shine by SD is very, very unique. Because I haven't seen this kind of shift very frequently from other brands. Okay, friends, our next color is also another beautiful shade with a green shift and a reddish, burgundy-ish, even magenta-ish base. This is Zigzag, which is a turbo glow color from Glam Shop. I have used this color in some of my custom-made palettes because this is a beautiful, beautiful color. And the shifts of this color are so obvious. So in the shade, there is a magenta burgundy base, but then as I'm moving my hand around, you do see a tealy glaze going into a super green glaze. This color is also super ideal for a one and done look during the holidays. Our next color, beauties, is a super shifty color from Touch of Glam. This is Stop Complaining, Stop Competing. This is also from their birthday style collection, the first series. I think I mentioned in my last to buy or not to buy that I love this series. And the second half of the series came out recently and I'm, you know, it's going on my wish list for sometime next year when i go off of a no buy this is one of those super shifty shades that i don't see very frequently from different brands so this shade does not have a base of a particular color and the shifts go from dark teal even a little bit of burgundy to green to gold all the way to copper but the color is pretty opaque and you shouldn't be able to really see your skin color from under it. And friends, our last color is this beautiful color also from Luxie Beauty, Dragon Slayer. And this color is still available on their website. This is such a pretty duochrome, maybe even arguably multi-chrome color and it does look like it is kind of comprised of tiny shimmery glittery particles and this color also has a very mild reddish undertone that you can see from some angles and then the glaze over it literally looks like it's made of tiny glitters and it goes teal to green to gold i even see silver from some angles and again beauties all of these colors are eye safe we don't use unsafe plastic based glitters in this channel and this color is also such a pretty color to be used with brown black burgundy honestly even blue green or any other a deep shade in the outer V and then you can put this across the lid or on the inner half of the lid. Beauties, with that we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and enjoyed these kinds of swatch videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe before you leave. I love you all. Have an amazing day. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and until next time, bye. bye.